The year was 2011 and the guests standing in the Edinburgh sunshine were preened for the wedding of the year. The Queen's granddaughter Zara Phillips to rugby player Mike Tyndall at Canongate Kirk on the ancient Royal Mile. The guest list was a wonderful mix of Windsor royalty and British sports stars. Rugby legend Johnny Wilkinson appeared in a sharp suit with blue dog tooth tie alongside his now wife Shelley Jenkins, who wore a pale blush dress and eye catching fuchsia fascinator. Teammate Lawrence Delalio was there too, pairing his lined lapel jacket with satin ivory waistcoat and tie. His wife Alice perfectly offset with a champagne ensemble paired with a rather eccentric feather fascinator. The Countess of Wessex arrived in a similar shade, scoring top marks in a complete outfit by Bruce Oldfield, with an extravagant matching hat by Jane Taylor. Mother of the Bride, Princess Anne, also went for a knee-length pleated skirt in a coral colour, with a lovely off-the-shoulder floral jacket to match, finished with a matching floral headpiece and nude court shoes. Cousin Princess Beatrice arrived with a pop of colour in a blue suit by the Queen's favourite, Angela Kelly. Princess Eugenie also opted for Angela Kelly, wearing an oyster and brown outfit with a large silk angled hat. And of course, all eyes were on Prince William's new wife, Kate Middleton, who recycled a gorgeous cream coat by Dave Berger A. Mickelson. She also chose to re-wear her dress by Colette Dinnigan, paired with nude platform heels, and a clutch by High Street hero, L.K. Bennett. Another stylish guest was soap star Catherine Kelly, looking glamorous and summery wearing a peach-coloured one-shouldered James Stewart gown, which she teamed up with an orange sun hat and matching oversized clutch. The Queen arrived just ahead of the bride in an apricot ensemble designed by Stuart Parvin, with a matching straw hat by Rachel Trevor Morgan. Then came the bridesmaids wearing cream A-line dresses by local dressmaker Sue Palmer, accompanied by maid of honour Dolly Maud, who wore a dove grey knee-length satin cocktail dress by Stuart Parvin with heels by Emmy. The newlyweds appeared hand in hand with the bride in a traditional silk gown with silk tulle detail, designed of course by the Queen's favourite couturier, Stuart Parvin. The groom looked smart in a black jacket, grey pinstripe trousers, a grey waistcoat, white shirt and grey tie, teamed with an ivory buttonhole flower. Zara swept her blonde hair into an elegant chignon with a full cathedral-length silk tulle veil. On loan from her mother was the Greek key tiara, once owned by Princess Alice of Battenberg, the mother of Prince Philip. It had a Greek key pattern featuring a large brilliant cut diamond in the centre, adding some sparkle to her special day.